right back. How you guys doing? There's some Katy Perry in there. <laughs> Who's with me? Maybe I should do a uh, scan here. Let's do a quick scan. Wow, that was Patio Lanterns. That's an old song, Kim Mitchell. I remember when that was popular. <laughs> so I get flagged by YouTube now and shut down. So I tried to do a session today at the shop, and I didn't get much of anything, really. I was working with the speed of the and I was using my box box, but I, I switched my files out on the box box, and it didn't sound good at all. Um, I think the files... Too, too long, too long of a... It was like 400 milliseconds. 12 channels, yeah, we're getting up there, hold on, so yeah, the, the session wasn't too great, the guys were there, but nothing was really coming in too strong, are the guys with me tonight? If so, who? It's loud out here tonight, there's a... Uh, Motorcycles making a lot of noise tonight. So who's with me? I just want to do a quick session here. I'm on my phone, so there's a time limit, and I won't go over that. So. Do you guys know what I'm drinking? What am I drinking? Did he say we don't? Oh no, I just lost my candle. So yeah, the uh, sales on these boxes not going so well, but I haven't been making a lot of videos with them either. I got them up for $250. I don't think I'm going to lower them any more than that. And if they don't sell, I won't be making any either. <laughs> um, you know, the parts still cost money and it still takes time to build them. So, here and there, every once in a while. Right now I'm working on a clock radio that's probably about that size, but thinner. And I took the parts out of the other radio that hasn't sold all summer. I mean, it went up in the spring and it was up all summer long. It was that metal one. So I took all the parts out of it, and I'm going to put it in this little wood um, GE clock radio with a glass front. I'm going to put a tube in the middle of it, and um, I might keep it. <laughs> we'll see. I've also got the GE Geo, the GE box <laughs> that I've almost completed. I finally got off my ass and. I'm almost done with it. I just got to put a reverb, uh, not a reverb, an echo pedal in there. I don't have one. I thought I had one, so now I'm, I'm stalled out on that again until I get one. I have a reverb pedal. I don't want to put that in there. So when I go inside tonight, I'll order an echo pedal. What do you guys think tonight? What's up? Anybody have anything to say? It's hot out here. 
<laughs> we had a big full moon the other night, and I wanted to come out here and do a session, and that didn't happen either. You guys like full moons? What's your favorite moon? Half moon? Full moon? Can you guys tell me my name? What's my name? Hmm. I'm not hearing it. Well, we've only got about another month here left in this house, and we'll be moving into our new home, which is an 1830s cobblestone. And I think we're kind of do some sessions there. <laughs> I already know that there's one in the attic, and I know that there's one in the basement. We'll probably go in there before we actually move in, you know, and do a blessing and do a clearing, do any crossings if we have to, and um, get that home ready to live in. How many spirits are in that cobblestone, you guys? Four? Five? Sounds about right. Um, how many want to leave? Are there any that need help? Who's the angry, grumpy guy in the in the attic? Does he want to leave? I did go up there with a spirit box when we were looking at the home when nobody else was up there. And uh, I was up there for about 20 minutes and he finally told me to leave. <laughs> And uh, Kathy picked up on him as soon as I told her about it. She said that he was a he was an old spirit, but not wait, wait. old in age. He was old in like time period from 1800s. And uh, she said he was angry because he died before his time, and he moves things up in the attic. And uh, she said all that without me actually telling her anything. So that was a little confirmation for me. The guy in the basement told me it was cool that we were moving in. Didn't get to do anything on the middle floor. So, should be interesting. So there's five of them there, you guys, is that right? Do they know that I'm coming? Are they okay that I'm coming? Are they okay with the spirits that I'm bringing? I'm not going in there to uh, start any spiritual wars, that's for sure. <laughs> But um, we will talk it then before we even go in there, before we even move our stuff in and settle in. All right, you guys. We've only got about guys. We've only got about another 30 seconds here, so I'm gonna close it down. I'm sorry there wasn't much going on here tonight. I'll go through this and see if anything came through. I didn't hear much, but you know, I talk too much too sometimes. So thank you guys for coming through. You have a good night. Jasper Lewis, good night. Any guides? Thank you, good night. Okay.